गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लेक्चर नंबर सेवेंटीन ऑफ मॉड्यूल थ्री दैट इज ह्यूमन ऑर्डर ह्यूमन सिस्टम सो बेसिकली इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी व्हाट डायमेंशंस आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन ऑर्डर फॉर अ स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन सिस्टम so basically in this lecture we will recognize all those dimensions which are essential to achieve the goals of a system so that a harmonious environment a conducive environment for a fulfilling life can be ensured <clears throat> so basically to ensure a harmonious environment for a fulfilling life a guide book is required and that guide book is basically known as constitution constitution so constitution or guide book contains basic principles and guidelines related to human living and his participation in this existence so definitely some uh, guidance are required for this generation for next generation for a fulfilling life living a harmonious life so that's why it is required a book in terms of constitution so this book would include directives or advice on how to lead one's life and how to participate in the system so basically this book would guide us so this constitution would describe how one can live a fulfilling life so the human order or system and its underlying principle would clearly be explained in this constitution and once person follows this guidelines beginning from one's own family to global family would be an indicator of the smooth running of the system so basically we shall now try to find out all those dimensions about individual family society nature which are needed to achieve this goal which we must ensure while we live as a human being in the human order so let's see what dimensions are required so we are going to talk about education dimension of education health justice production service exchange distribution right utilization preservance per preservation and dimension of service so basically we are going to study this eight dimension with brief description and in coming lecture we will elaborate all these dimension in detail but in this lecture we are going to give a brief idea about all these eight dimensions which are required to ensure a human order a human system which are required for a fulfilling life so keeping this fulfilling life in the center we are going to study all these eight dimensions so let's talk about dimension of education first so as we are talking the importance of dimension of education from uhv1 because this dimension plays a very important role in one's life so whatever is required to get an understanding will be the content of education if we understand if one understands the right there will be a natural flow of the right idea right attitude right behavior right participation in the system so that's why dimension of education plays very important role to ensure a fulfilling life to ensure a conducive structures so the achievement of education will be to ensure right behavior work participation in the whole order keeping right feeling understanding in the center so if dimension of education ensure 
all these aspects in an individual it means this dimension is working fine ultimately what would be the outcome of the education the outcome of education would be in the form of that a student or a person now is able to ensure right feeling now is able to ensure right work now is able to ensure justice with everyone so if you understand right then there will be a right sense and right thought based on this if we can do the right behavior do the right business and participate in the right system we design right technologies holistic technologies this will be the achievements of the dimension of education so when we go to see this education the person's understanding is the focus point so basically through this dimension of education <clears throat> we are trying to imbibe right understanding right feeling in ones the effort to make that understanding is put in the form of dimension of education so education plays an important role in ensuring human order education builds the ability the competence for right understanding right thought and right behavior in every person it enables one to behave properly with other human being and work with mutual fulfillment with the rest of nature and thereby one can contribute to the human order or system so the role of education sanskar can be well defined by each of us through proper understanding so if we see these eight dimension the dimension of education plays very important role because what we learn through education what we understand through education we spread it through various modes if my education is right based on existential laws based on natural laws then we will be able to keep ourselves health healthy then we will be able to ensure justice <clears throat> then we will able to ensure harmonious production system then we can ensure exchange and distribution with the feeling of mutual fulfillment then we can ensure right utilization of resources so if the education is right then we can preserve our nature natural resources and then we can think of administrative services social services which are actually required to ensure harmony in the system so all these dimensions are interconnected and education dimension of education is play plays a key role in ensuring rest of the dimension so that's why dimension of education a very important in ensuring this human order now let's have a brief discussion about health so dimension of health what is the achievement of this dimension of health the achievement of this dimension can be seen in terms of health of the human body so if we work on the dimension of health with right education then the outcome will be a healthy body so with when this dimension is functioning well people lead to life that is conducive to good health so as we studied that human being is a coexistence of self and body and this self and body can be seen with the process of self investigation with the process of self exploration and all the proposals given in education can help to investigate this so if we put proper proposals harmonious proposals in our education then one can see the coexistence of self and body and with the feeling of right understanding with the feeling of sayam one can ensure health of the body so satisfaction in the self is ensured by the dimension of education whereas health of the body is taken care of by the dimension of health with these two dimensions of education and health 
every individual can live as a human being and live with fulfillment mutual fulfillment so once i am healthy i can participate at the level of family i can participate at the level of society so for a fulfilling life healthy body and mentally fit person is required so health of the body and health of the mind is also required for a fulfilling life so health of the mind can be ensured with right education with the process of exploration and health of the body can be ensured with the feeling of sayam with the feeling of right understanding now we can briefly talk about justice so when justice is ensured trust fearlessness are established in relationships and also in the society so when a human being live with a healthy self and healthy body that ensures fulfillment in relationship with other human being it means justice is ensured so once i understand this coexistence through education once i understand interrelatedness with everyone when i am able to recognize relationship with others then with the healthy body with the help of healthy body i can participate in those relationships with mutual fulfillment so justice is ensured so justice is ensuring recognition of relationships among human being its fulfillment through values leading to mutual happiness so the practice of comprehensively abiding by this is known as system of justice so therefore we talk about education and health first and then we talk about justice if both the health of the mind and the body are ensured then we will be able to ensure justice so justice health and education in fact are interconnected in fact all these dimensions are interconnected so with proper education i am able to my ensure my health and with proper state of mind and health i am able to ensure justice from world family to world family order so these dimensions are required to ensure a human order ensure a human system then let's talk about production and service so production ensures the physical facilities required for the fulfillment of our physical needs so what is the production so when we interact with nature when we do labor with nature so some physical resources are produced this produced is production and production is required to ensure health of the body production is required to ensure feeling of care production are required for the smooth functioning of the system and we can also notice that there are certain activities that do not produce anything but are concerned with protection maintenance for example there are many activities that we are preparing we are washing the clothes so when we are washing the clothes there is no production but maintenance protection is required so repair maintenance of such kind is not directly associated with the manufacturing of any item but with the protection maintenance of existing systems existing items because along with manufacturing of new items there is also a need of protection maintenance of items that are already produced so activities of such kind are known as service so again what is need of production the need of production is to ensure health need of production is ensure physical facility for everyone need of production is required for smooth functioning of the social order human order and service maintenance is also required so whatever we do to maintain those produced thing will actually come in service so 
if we talk about service we can see whatever the system is in the sense of maintaining the system whatever is to be ensured the program is to be planned and implemented all those who are involved in doing these services come under administrative services there are so many organization which are not administrative but social are doing the work like distributing blankets etc so social services are also required that i will talk later in detail so let's talk about exchange and distribution so exchange dimension we do not produce every item that we use nor we can perform every kind of service that we need so we can produce only some of the items all other items are produced by others so through exchange all such items and services are made available to us as per our needs that's why there is a need of dimension of exchange many things are required to run a life and all those required things we cannot produce at the level of individual production can be done at the level of family at the level of society so what i produce can exchange with others so in this manner dimension of exchange plays a very important role to ensure this human order two things also required while exchanging the uh, things right utilization and preservation so right utilization whatever is being produced we should right utilize those things if we do not right utilize the things then the things may not be available to rest of the people and it may create chaos in the society so right utilization also plays a very important role to ensure human order so a program needs to be made to ensure right utilization in the society people should be aware how to right utilize the resources so that it can available generation by generation similarly preservation so we need to preserve means enrich and protect the natural resources which we utilize for production and exchange so preservation is also another important dimension for ensuring human order so whatever is produced we have to right utilize it and whatever we have we have to preserve it so with right utilization and preservation things are available to the generation to the rest of the people so this dimension of right utilization and preservation is also required for smooth functioning of human systems then we can talk about administrative services dimension of services there are two concerns administrative services and social services so in order that the system runs smoothly it is essential to ensure the dimensions of human order and to make sure they are working in a right direction so this necessary function of ensuring that systems are working properly is called as administrative service and what is social service despite the effort to ensure the different social dimensions certain shortcomings may remain taking care of them through relationship is called social service it means social service means the one which is being provided to each other by society in relationships that comes under social service for example distribution of blanket distribution of food at tough time comes under the social service and administrative service are required for the smooth functioning of the system 
so these all eight dimensions are required for the human order so briefly for fulfillment of our goals and objectives we needs dimension of education health justice production service exchange distribution right utilization and preservation and dimensions of service education and health take care of our physical and mental well being justice take care of relationship in human human interaction production service exchange right utilization preservation ensure that our requirements of physical facilities are taken care of along with complementing with the rest of nature to enable these dimensions to function without failure the dimension of service at the level of system is required so this dimension of service works at two level number 1 being used by the system that is administrative service number 2 being provided by the society through relationship that is social service so all these eight dimensions are interconnected are interrelated and none of the eight dimensions we can ignore we have to ensure all these dimension for ensuring a fulfilling life so if we work on these eight dimensions then a system for a fulfilling life can be ensured okay and for running a system smoothly as i talked earlier a guide book is required there is a need to recognize all its dimension their functions and what all is required to be done at the level of personal family society national international and compilation of all these is known as constitution so in constitution there are underlying principles implementation of those principle will ensure harmony coexistence a smooth functioning around us so one can also recognize constitution as a ethical guidelines on how to live a harmonious life in the society so with this we can sum up the whole lecture so basically we have tried to find out what is required to run a system smoothly we talked about a guide book that is constitution what should be in constitution what compilation are required in the constitution for a smooth functioning then we talked about eight dimensions and we understand the interconnectedness of these dimension and it is the role of guide book constitution to implement all these dimension successfully so that a system required for a fulfilling life can be ensured so i hope you have understood all these dimensions and requirement of this guide book that is constitution in coming lectures we will see all these dimensions in detail so in coming lecture we will see the dimension of education in detail dimension of health justice all these dimension we will see in detail so it's all about this lecture thank you very much